In this video, we're going to talk about the content collection. Every course has its own content collection that is created when the course is created. Content collections store only files uploaded from your computer. As you can see in this lessons area, we have a folder, a learning module, two tests, a Dropbox, and a discussion forum. None of these things are in the content collection because they're not files that I uploaded from my computer. They're objects that I created in Blackboard. They may contain files that I uploaded from my computer, and if they do, those files are stored in the content collection. Let's upload a file directly to the lessons area by hovering over Build Content, File. Before we name the file, let's talk about Find File. You have a choice between Browse My Computer and Browse Course. Browse My Computer means you're going to upload the file from your computer. Browse Course means you're going to create a link to a file that already exists in your content collection. Let's click Browse My Computer, choose our file, and once you see the link appear next to selected file, it's a little bit easier to name your file. Under File Options, I would suggest that you open the file in a new window by selecting Yes. Under Standard Options, Permit Users to View is already selected, and you can select Display Dates if you choose right here. Then you click Submit, and by default, that file from your computer appears at the end of the list of objects in your content area. However, what you see here is only a link. Even though you uploaded this file from your computer to a content area called Lessons, the original file went to the content collection. To look at your content collection, you click this horizontal arrow next to Content Collection, or you click the arrow to the left and then click the first hyperlink underneath Content Collection. Do not click the other hyperlinks, All Courses Content, All Organizations Content. Those are more advanced functions in the Content Collection that we're not going to talk about in this video. So click this horizontal arrow or the first hyperlink underneath Content Collection which contains the name of the course in which you're currently working. And this is the content collection for this course. The content collection will contain a recycle bin folder that cannot be deleted, and it will contain every file that you have uploaded from your computer, and these are the original files. Here's the file that we just uploaded to Lessons. Let's return to Lessons. If we delete this file by clicking the arrow to the right of the file name, and choosing Delete, we are deleting only the file link. We are not deleting the file from the content collection. We're deleting the link from the content area. Let's click Delete, OK, and that file no longer exists in this content area. However, it is still in the content collection. Let's return to the content collection, and here's the file. Let's return to the content area. Now that the file is in the content collection, if you want to add that file to any content area in this course, you hover over Build Content, File. This time, instead of Browse My Computer, you'll choose Browse Course because the file is already in the content collection. Let's click Browse Course, choose the file, Click Submit, name it, open in a new window, and click Submit. And a file link now appears in Lessons again. If you already have a file in the content collection and want to add it to a content area of your course, don't keep uploading the file from your computer because 
you're creating multiple instances of that file in the content collection. For example, if I go to start here, which is another content area in this course, and I want to put that same file in this content area, build content file, if I upload that file from my computer again, it will put two original files in the content collection, which increases the size of your course. So if I want that file to appear in Start Here, I will click Browse Course, link to this file in the content collection, and click Submit. Give it a name, open in a new window, and Submit and I now have a link to that file in two areas of my course, but I only have the original document in my content collection once. Right here. If you want to update this document or change the document, you can do that right here in the content collection and it will update or change every instance of that document in your course. To update or change a file, go to your content collection, click the arrow to the right of the file you want to update, and click Overwrite File. Now you browse your computer for the file that you want to replace the original file, and it will replace that file wherever that file has a link in your course. I'm going to cancel this. Let's return to Lessons. We've discussed what happens when you delete a file link in a content area. It deletes only the file link, not the original file from the content collection. If you delete file links from content areas because you no longer need those files, you should also delete the original file from the content collection because those files are increasing the size of your course. So you want to delete them not only to manage the size of your course, but to keep your content collection nice and clean. Let's return to the content collection. To delete an original file from the content collection, click the arrow to the right of the file name and choose Recycle or put a check mark in the box to the left of the file name and click the Recycle button. OK. Submit. And that file is now in the Recycle Bin. Because it's in the Recycle Bin and the Recycle Bin has not been emptied, the file links are still valid. If we go back to Lessons or Start here, where those file links exist, the files are still valid and can be opened. Let's return to the content collection. This recycle bin will automatically empty itself every seven days, or you can manually empty the recycle bin by clicking it, choosing the files you want to permanently delete, or choosing Empty Bin, which will permanently delete every file in the recycle bin. Once you do that, every link in the course will break. So you want to be careful about deleting files in your content collection. Make sure that your course does not contain links to those files before you recycle and then delete those files. To remove a file from the recycle bin and move it back to its original location in the content collection, click Restore. Let's delete this file so you can see what happens to those links by clicking Empty Bin. OK. The Recycle Bin, as you can see here, is now empty. Let's return to Lessons, where there is a link to that file that we just recycled and then permanently deleted. And you now have an invalid file that cannot be opened. That's because you deleted the original file from the content collection. The same thing will be true in Start Here. We have an invalid file. You will have to delete this invalid file by clicking the arrow to the right of the file name and choosing Delete and then upload the file again from your computer which will put a link in the content area and the permanent file 
back in your content collection. Let's delete these invalid links from our course. And we have to go to Lessons because the link is also there. And delete this invalid link. And again, if we want that file back in our course, we have to upload it again to our content area, which will place a link in the content area and the original file in the content collection. You can also add files directly to your content collection by going to the content collection, hovering over Upload, and choosing Upload Files. By default, Single File is selected in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. If it is not selected, click it. Multiple Files allows you to select multiple files and folders all at once from your computer but it works only if you have a current version of Java installed on your computer. In this video, we will use Single File Upload. Click Browse to choose the file from your computer. In Single File mode, only files, not folders, can be uploaded from your computer, and they must be uploaded one file at a time. Choose the file that you want to upload and click Submit. And the file is now in the content collection. However, it is not in a content area. To put it in a content area, go to the content area. Choose Build Content, File, and because this file is already in the content collection, we'll choose Browse Course, not Browse Computer. If we choose Browse Computer and bring that file in, we'll have two instances of it in the content collection. Let's click Browse Course, select the file we want to link to the content area, and click Submit. Let's name the file. Choose Open in a New Window, and Submit. And we now have a link to that file in the lesson's content area. Let's return to the content collection. You should keep your content collection cleaned up by deleting files that you no longer need. Again, because it makes your content collection manageable and because it makes your course smaller. This is a very small content collection. In a real course, your content collection can be pages and pages long. Best practice is to go to the content area delete the files that you no longer need, then immediately go to the content collection and delete their original sources. Before you delete a file from the content collection, unless you're absolutely certain that that original file is not linked anywhere in your course, you should check the file to see if it has any links. To do that, Click the arrow to the right of the file name and click 360 View. Scroll down to Links. If you see information in this area, that original file is linked in the course. To exit 360 View, close the new tab into which 360 View opened and you are returned to the content collection. You can also check the entire content collection at once for files that are not linked anywhere in the course. Files, in other words, whose links have been deleted from content areas, but which have not been deleted from the content collection. In the content collection, click the arrow to the right of the content collection name and choose 360 View. Scroll to Files and Subfolders. Files and subfolders with a green check mark in the linked column are linked to a content area in the course. Files and subfolders with no green check mark in the linked column are not linked and should be deleted from the content collection. To exit 360 View, 
close the tab in which it opened, and you return to the content collection. To review, the content collection is where all original files uploaded from your computer into a Blackboard course are stored, regardless of whether those files are uploaded directly in a content area or directly to the content collection. Deleting a file from a content area deletes only the file link, not the original file in the content collection. Recycling a file in the content collection deletes the original file and breaks any content area links to that file once the recycle bin is emptied. Best practice is to delete unnecessary file links from all content areas and then go immediately to the content collection and delete the original files. To check an original file for content area links, click the arrow to the right of the file name in the content collection, choose 360 view, scroll to links, and if there's information under links, that means the file is linked somewhere in your course. Check the entire content collection at once for files that have no links in the course. Click the arrow to the right of the content collection name. Choose 360 view. Scroll to files and subfolders and look at the linked column. Green check marks mean the file or subfolder is linked somewhere in the course. If there's no green check mark next to a file or subfolder, that means there's no link in the course and the file or subfolder should be deleted from the content collection.